Isaac crew have had a great time. We've only got a little bit to go and we're all a bit tired, but let's get on the bus and get going. Himself said, Greater love has no man than this. Who knows the end of this one? Greater love has no man than this to lay down his life for his friends. And you are my friends, he says. Today, Jesus says, And you are my friends. You are my friends. And greater love has no man than this to lay down his life for his friends. And then he goes one step further and says, And I'm calling you to do the same. For the world who I hurt for. That world in darkness. Those friends of yours who don't know God. Those people who don't know there's any hope. Those people struggling so hard to find their place. Back in Mount Isa, I made a lot of strong connections with the group that we've come with today and I felt like going with this I'd be able to rekindle those relationships and also reaffirm my faith as well. And how have you found the couple of days you've been involved? Well, I found them extremely, extremely invigorating. Like on the Saturday night when we had our Holy Spirit Mass, we really got into what we were doing and I honestly, I felt like I've re illuminated myself with the Holy Spirit and I found like I've really found God for the first time properly and I've really experienced Him. Here we go now, Jesus 2, Jesus 3, Jesus is good for me, say oops, oops. 
I said now Jesus four, Jesus five. Let's all do the Jesus child. I said oops. Go basic, go basic, go basic, go basic. Here you go. One, two, three, amen. Well, they seem like they're having an amazing time. It's lovely to see them. Um, not at school but interacting in the communities both in Brisbane and in Townsville and Mount Isa uh, and it's lovely that we're a part of something bigger than Good Shepherd um, and that they can come away to these events that get some spiritual formation and learn a whole lot and have a whole lot of fun in the process. And how important is it for the relationship between the school and the parish? Well absolutely essential so if we didn't have that relationship between the parish and the school things like this wouldn't be able to happen and our kids wouldn't get the kind of uh, formation that they that they need because it's really a dual partnership between the church and the school. So when we work together, amazing things can happen. Then my love ain't deeper still. Here we go. We pray for Pope Francis and all the leaders of our church. May their upright example of encourage to us to live just and Christ-filled lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord God. We pray for young people around our world, particularly those finding it difficult to stand up for the truth. May their sincere faith be strengthened as they continue to do the Father's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord God. conference has been extremely good. It's something new, um, very different. Um, I come along this trip because as going to Rio and going to ACYF in Melbourne, I believe my faith has strengthened over the last five or six years. And coming to these things, I can forget about all my worries at home, forget about everything else, start a clean slate, and I can go from there. I can come and I can praise Lord, praise the God, praise do what I love to do. Just all the workshops and everything we did just learnt a whole lot of new stuff. I feel like I was illuminated as a theme went. God in this weekend was just with during the rallies and some of the workshops when people were just really getting into it. God this week was definitely in the prayer teams for me. Um, the first one I felt him standing in front of me and talking to me telling me where I should go in the future. Um, the second one I don't really remember. Um, one of the leaders told me after that I fell into the grace of the Holy Spirit is where you faint, you either fall backwards or forwards and you feel the Holy Spirit overwhelm your body and you just pass out and you're laying there for a good five, ten minutes until you wake up. God was just with us all, I believe, watching over us, keeping us safe, making sure we all enjoyed ourselves and found Him. Ignite Conference is wrapped up now and we've had a great time just like to thank a few individuals and organisations 
Emmanuel community and the whole team at Ignite Youth, as well as Emmanuel Worship for making the rallies a great experience. Um, Pat and Kim Keedy from Real Talk Australia and all the other directors and presenters at keynotes and workshops. Um, Paul, Mary and Tracy for making the trip a possibility and everyone from the parish and Mount Isa community back home. We'd just like to thank you for making that opportunity possible and giving us this illuminating experience. Hashtag Ignite! Woo!